Uh, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. That uh, was a little bit full of too full of gusto for even my lungs. Anyway, last time we defeated Kaloktos at the end of the Ancient Cistern, making our blade longer, harder, and a lot of other things that are probably at home in a Daft Punk song. Yes. It is now much more powerful than it was before, doing double damage, and we came back here to Faron Woods to see a few little extra things that just didn't really fit in anywhere else that had changed since we were last here. Also, mushroom spores. Yeah, um, I would not dare leave this place without a few of those. Also, I called them mushroom spores. Kind of further cementing the fact of how I'd be able to confuse them as the other item. This time, we are headed back into the sky. We're gonna be headed off to the Isle of Songs, but first we're gonna be stopping off at Skyloft. As per usual, after we have completed any sort of dungeon, there are things around town that have changed. Not terribly much this time around, but still worth checking out. Besides, we got materials. Of course we wanna see what we can craft with them. Thank you for flying our Pona Airlines. We will be landing shortly. When I say shortly, I really mean it. Bazaar seems like a good first stop as we are right in front of it and I'm kind of eager to see what it is that we can make with all the cool stuff that we've been getting. Heck, that gold skull last time. I don't know if that's gonna be terribly helpful for anything, but let's find out. How's Scrapper treating me? The uh, awkward blank stare on my face tells you all that you need to know. Ornamental skulls make that, and yes! Oh! I'm suddenly very happy that I went through all the headache of fighting those blue bacoblins when everything was ganging up on me. This just made it all worth it. Gimme that sacred shield. As one would expect, this has the power of self-restoration, but is even more durable than the other versions. Our business is all concluded here. I'd say we're pretty good. Let us equip this thing and see that beautiful durability gauge. Okay, it's not really that long. I think it's honestly pretty comparable to what the standard wooden and standard metal shields were, but still, it's darn good and I'm very happy to have it. Don't believe there's anything else for us here to check out, except for the ladies. Oh, you're back. I'll hold on to anything of yours you want me to. Something in your pouch that you want to deposit? Uh, let's, let's rearrange things a little bit. I don't think I want this rupee medal. It can be helpful, but I think I would prefer to have a potion of some kind in my inventory, and the revitalizing potion might be helpful if I'm ever low on health and just really want it, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'll take that with me. I should also mention that the Cursed Metal, even though it does prevent you from using items in your pouch, if you have an automatic item like a fairy activating when you die, that'll still work. It's another little detail about the Cursed Metal that they don't explain to you. The explanation for it is just awful. They make you think that it works completely different than it really does, and there's just so many little caveats to how it works, even when you do know how it works. I think that's it. I don't believe the Goddess Cube chest that we saw, no, it's still not active. Always checking up on that. I know one of these days I'm gonna slip up and that's gonna be the one that I can't find because that's how it always is every playthrough, but I'll carry on anyway. We haven't seen Beetle in a while and I got just, on, just shy of a thousand rupees. I think it'd be good to pay him a visit, make my pockets a little bit lighter, but keep the weight of his airship the same as it's going right into his pocket once he's done. Actually, much like I've been told to many a time, I stopped myself. I waited for him to get into a position that we've never seen before, just so we could kind of add a little bit of variety to when he inevitably drops the hammer, AKA us. I'm gonna warn you right now, this piece of heart, I would highly recommend against buying it even if you can afford it. Even if it's that last piece of heart that you need to complete a new heart container, you're better off saving it for later. You'll see why. I just kind of thought now with us having a rupee limit of I think 1900, it would be worth it to mention such a thing. Oh. This is probably 1200 rupees, I think it is. Yeah, okay, so the price on that is exactly as I remembered it. Oh. I don't have much to spend my money on, but I think maybe another wallet upgrade could be kind of nice just with us going around places. 300 rupees is a bit steep, but I can't think of anything else that I, oh. Never mind, I'm misreading the price again because skimming sucks. 
That lesson in school that they gave me teaching me how to skim was the stupidest thing in the world. Just why would you teach kids in school to do that? It's like, if you have time to read it, then why would... I don't know, like, you're trying to teach us how to study better- I'm just going on a rant about how bad the educational system was to me. This is not the time nor place to that. Boy, Beetle, with this whole shtick you got going on, I guess that makes you a peddler of goods! I'll see myself out. But then I'll let myself back in to say, Hey, why you got that haircut? You thinking of joining the Beatles? Yeah, no. I just wanted to check on this so he would throw us out yet again. And I guess for making two puns like that, who could blame him? Here we go. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here! Then you have all the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with ya! I guess I'm pushing up daisies now or something. <laughs> Quite literally, as I get off the ground. There is one and only side quest that I think is available to us right now. I don't believe that... No, we will not get another reward at a batch row. But in the interest of keeping things broken up so that we're not on side quest runs for too terribly long, how about we make it so Beatrice comes home once again to the man of her dreams already sleeping in her bed. My plan failed. Turns out we have not slept in enough beds to make things happen with Beatrice. There is no good way of wording that, so I'm sticking to my story. Instead, I want to go over to Pippet's house. We've been over this, Mom! Calm down, Pippet. Don't get so mad. How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Night Academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. You've got to stop doing this. Oh, uh, uh hey there, Link. Uh, what could you want at this hour? You, uh, didn't hear any of that, did you? Uh, there's, there's no way you heard, right? Sorry. Oh, uh, you heard. It's true, I'm working the night patrol to earn some money. But don't look at me like that. You're not exactly Mr. Perfect either, are you, Mr. Eve's Dropper? Maybe we should just forget about everything that happened here tonight. Yes, it is so obvious she's been paying someone to clean this house. Granted, if I thought she was paying someone to clean this house and it looked like that, I'd probably also yell at her for wasting her money, but still. Uh. Hi there, Link. Pippet is really angry with me. He said I shouldn't be spending money on a housekeeper. But you're not exactly a housekeeper, are you, Link? That makes it okay, doesn't it? Anyway, that's good enough for me. As far as I'm concerned, I'll pay you to clean my house anytime it gets dusty. You can still do this for the 20 rupees anytime you want, but a little while after you do that for her the first time, then you will see that Pippet is less than thrilled about it, just as she told you he would be. And what does Pippet have to say about all this, as he does not make the cool pose that I was hoping he would make again? You weren't supposed to see that whole spectacle, Link. How embarrassing. I feel so ashamed of my mother sometimes. She's just so lazy sometimes. I don't know what to do. But I'll be fine. You don't need to worry about me. I still haven't worked out who did the cleaning for my mother, though. Who do they think they are, getting involved in our business like that? Yeah. Hey, Link, it can be dangerous here at night, so be careful. <laughs> oh, and uh, about the thing the other night, we agreed to keep that secret, right? <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. That completely does it for preparations! What happened to my rupee count, you hawk-eyed ones might ask, because I know that you will. 
I was thinking more about my potions, and even though I do think that a Revitalizing Potion Plus is better than nothing, I thought the slot would better go to a Heart Potion Plus. This is a full heal, only costs 40 rupees, and it used up some pretty common bugs that I didn't have any shortage of. I thought that would be a better use of that slot than that, so as much as it hurt to just waste an infused potion by drinking it up when I didn't need it, I think having that in a pinch would be a lot better, and I would feel a bit better dedicating a bottle to those uh, glittering spores if I had something that was legitimately very good taking up one of my other bottles. With all those preparations done, we go into the Thunderhead once again. Any day now. Okay, I mean, we haven't been flying for too long. Even I'm not that terribly impatient. Dodge these tornadoes. It's not like we don't have anything to do, you know? Just boost right into it. But the oh-so-visually-enticing Rainbow Island that you just gotta know what it does is waiting for yet another day. We got business at the Isle of Songs. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crust with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you must obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now, I give you another melody. It will serve as a key to unlocking your next trial, which awaits you within the shifting sands of Lineru Desert. The song you just heard is called Nehru's Wisdom. Use the song of knowledge to find the next trial. I have memorized Nehru's Wisdom for you. You can now use dowsing to locate the gate to the next trial. You should set a course for Nehru Desert immediately. Straight up, Lanaru's Wisdom is one of my all-time favorite Zelda instrument songs, and I know that that's a very high compliment, but I feel it could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the greats from Ocarina of Time. It would be nice if I could actually play it on my instrument. I'm just saying, it is a, such a beautiful song that the harp did not deserve. <laughs> it's amazing. One of the, easily one of the greatest songs that no one ever talks about, and I'm glad that we finally have it, and that we got to hear it, because I've been wanting to say that. But, here we stand on the Isle of Songs. Yet another place to head off to. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we dive down to Lanayru Desert, and see what trial awaits us. See you guys then.